again with JR, Jessica Foss, and John Brand in this gorgeous, uh, I just love the interior of this Barnes by Harris Blue Ribbon Barn. Uh, Dave and Loretha, I'm going to just kind of pan away. John, just give me a minute. You'll notice that this barn, they chose to use a colored inside of their breezeway door and the stall fronts are red but the rest of this beautiful barn the interior is white and uh, lots of light in here we have no artificial light going on right now but we're back to watch John Brand of Buckaroo Leather tell us more about how to use a Fiador. Good yes uh, hello everybody again uh, as you've seen in our other videos we showed you how to tie the Bacottis onto the Hackmore and we've showed you how to fit a hackamore with a traditional head stall with a brow band on it that also comes with a throat latch. Well, this is a traditional method used by the vaqueros mostly here. It only has a lightweight, very thin little bozelle hanger. You may hear the term hanger head stall for the bozelle. And we're going to use a, a, a Fiador. It can be used without a Fiador throat latch or it can be used with it. This is so lightweight, it's designed to be used towards the end of your hackamore training for your horse as a transition when you're ready to transfer into the bridle. You may have heard of a, a two rein, you'll use a bridle. This is designed, you can put your bridle on over the top of this and use them both as a two rein when you're tra transitioning to the bridle. But I want to show you how this fits here. You'll want it to fit right in this position an inch or two above their uh, the corner of their mouth. And you'll see here it's just a very light little cowboy tie. And here's your Theodore. Now your Theodore is designed to work as a throat latch to help keep the, the um, hat more, more secure. It goes down, as we showed you before, tight getting it on there this morning. What brand new buckaroo leather tack, John. Yes. Of course, the one thing we know at home with your reins, uh, they come right from your factory, so soft and supple, they're ready to use right now. Here's a little close-up of the actual Theodore. There's a, what they call a Theodore knot, which is tied at the very bottom of the Bozelle. You open that Theodore knot up from the middle, you slip it in between your reins, and around the button of the bozelle, just like that. And there's a little loop at the end that you flip up over the top of your Makati button, like that, and pull it tight, and it locks it down in place, just like that. And then it helps hold, you can adjust it here on your knot, it helps hold the bozelle up in a better working position. It's adjustable, your Theodore right here. So you can you could bring that Bozal more forward on his nose by adjusting the Theodore, is that correct? Adjusting so the that the right here. Yes. So that your Makati knot is hanging not hanging forward as forward. much, correct? Correct, correct. And and people would do that for what, just different transitioning in or Yeah, it's probably good. Some people don't use a Theodore. Okay. But then some do. It's just a personal preference. It helps hold everything in a better position. It's not possible that this could slip down over his muzzle and off if you let the rain down or anything, or a performance move. Okay. It helps hold everything in a better, secure, more secure position. All right. Now, in, in the uh, Vaquero days, uh, those Fiodors were probably made out of what? Rawhide, John? or Rawhide, uh, hemp. Hemp, okay. Grass rope, uh, many, many different things. We make them out of quarter inch uh, to eighth inch uh, nylon. Okay. Well, that looks like a product that uh, people who like to train their horses in the more traditional style. And I know here in uh, the area that we live, an awful lot of our horsemen do like to start a horse out in a hackamore, bozal as we call it. And uh, these are just some steps that will get you into the bridle. Now, most of us know that in the old vaquero uh, tradition, a horse didn't get into the bridle until about its fifth year. And at that time, when they got into that beautiful Salinas bit and the wonderful uh, head stall and, and uh, Romel reins that uh, like uh, Buckaroo Leather makes, uh, that horse was broke, broke to the bridle and a very little hand movement was ever needed to have that horse perform. Oh, that's, uh, I'm, I'm glad we got a chance to stop by. This is a brand new uh, 
item in my mind, and I'm glad I learned about the Theodores. What do you think, Jess? Did you know about those already? No. Nope. All right. Are you going to share that with your friends at school and those that you ride with? Yep. Now, John, is, is there any... Uh, you mentioned something I know when, when we were talking the other day about uh, there's a new style of doing things uh, where a person actually has a rope attached to them from the Fiador. Do we want to discuss that at another uh, time? Yes, that's our next video we're going to do. What they call that is called a get down rope. A get down rope, okay. Uh, that is similar to a Fiador, um, but it's, a, it's, it's basically a cowboy lead type device. And we'll show you that next. All right, thanks a lot, John.